What's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Travel Inspirado. We are coming from you live in Tampa. We're hanging out at home today um, in the city, meaning like we're not traveling anywhere super far. So me and Maddie are kind of doing like a, what did you say, mother-daughter day? Not a date, but mother-daughter day. And somehow this crazy little shit um, talked me into going to an escape room. What is it themed? Killer clowns. Killer clowns. Yeah, Haunted we're turtles. gonna go lock ourselves with killer clowns. I don't get scared, but I do get claustrophobic. So the idea of being locked in a room, I don't know if there's gonna be real killer clowns, like people that come up to us, or if it's just like, that's the theme, like you're trying to escape. I, I don't know, that's kind of redundant. But you know what I mean? Like if there's gonna be like a clown and they're like, ooh, heebie-jeebie style, but um, so we're gonna head over. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Maddie because you shouldn't be holding your camera while driving. So she's gonna hold it and we're gonna just talk. And she can kind of go over about her last experience in a escape room with her sisters. It was hard. It was really hard. And my sisters were, they, they were super young. I was like. They were young. I was they like were scared. 12 or 11 when this was happening. They were scared. Because they thought that we wouldn't be able to get out, so Liv started crying, which led to Riley starting to cry. And it was just, it was, everybody was panicking because they thought we would not be able to get out. And I don't even think we completed it. No, I don't even think we got to the second room because it's hard when you have little kids and you're trying to concentrate and you're trying to concentrate, trying to put all the clues together, but you've got kids who don't want to be there. So, don't take your kids. I, I hate to say that unless it's like a kid-friendly kind of an escape room, don't because it's one, it's like, unless they really enjoy like puzzles, it's hard I would say for kids. And again, me and Maddie tend to lean more on the scarier side of things. So, hearing the name of this one would not recommend. Um, it for your kids. It's but the like the place in general we're going to, I'm not gonna say it. He's uh, 16, almost 17, so give another year a take. She'll be old enough to go to our movies on her own. So Well I mean I've seen some R rated movies without an adult. Great YouTube content. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm kidding. We all know that kids are exposed to a lot of things on social media when they're outside of your your own home. So I've always raised my girls to use their best judgment when they leave. Generally, they're, they'll hear me yell, make good decisions. So, I mean, let's just be honest. Sometimes your kids are gonna be exposed to things that you're not always gonna have control over, but that's just life. Life in general, you have to just live life with things happen and you can't not talk about things. Like, yeah. Ever. Like, and I, I mean, feel like having that openness helps you make better decisions anyway because when you see, like when you're not exposed to things, sometimes you want to try it so bad you don't realize like, oh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. So anyway, guys, we live six minutes away from the escape room. We are one mile away, three minutes, because we're stuck at a light right now. So we don't live that far. We actually have another escape room that way, right by a sushi place that Maddie likes. Mm -hmm. So again, in Tampa, right behind us is Hooters. Hooters, Hooters! I still want to go. So again, guys, lots of stuff to do locally in Tampa. It really just depends what kind of stuff you want to do here in Tampa. We thought it would be fun today to go do an escape room. I know he'll be editing this later, but Paul would never do an escape room with a killer clown. Nope. He's Can you imagine terrified. they had a doll haunted one? Oh my god. Yeah, he's scared of everything, guys. I mean, literally. They had uh, the other one, they had a haunted mansion theme. Yeah, so that would have been cool. That would have been I really... feel like this one had another theme too that was scary, right? They had a lot of themes. They, well, they had four themes. So, but I know there was Atlantis. Ooh, I'm facing it on my mouth again. I know there's Atlantis, the Haunted Mansion, 
Killer Clown. Money Heist. Money Heist was one. I know we saw, like, it kind of looked like a wizard one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they had an, an Atlantis one. I already said that. Oh, you did? But I don't know if that was at both. So, guys, there's two. No. One. There's one escape room? There's one Atlantis one. I'd have to look. Anyway, but in, like I said, there's multiple escape rooms around here. This one just worked the best with the time because we didn't want to wait till tonight to do it. I would have loved to do it at night because I feel like it gives you those more like creepy vibes. Mm -hmm. But again, Paul would never do it. So getting him to go ghost hunting was like hard enough. He went, but guys, let's be honest. He was scared. If we would have videoed it, <laughs> it was like the group and then like Paul, like always 10 feet away. <laughs> And I swear we heard some. I heard something when we went ghost oh, hunting. Oh, you can tell them that story. So when we went ghost hunting, there was this there was this one place that had burned down a while ago, and there was this little girl that was trapped. And whenever you walk past it, some people hear like the screams of the little girl. We walked past it, and I swear I heard a scream coming from the building. But didn't you hear the scream too before he even told the story? Yeah, I heard it twice. Yeah, that's what made it crazy because Maddie had heard the screams prior to him even telling that story. Yeah, and there was that one road and it's often like said that when people drive by it, they get like very fuzzy minded and they can't think straight because of the energy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's because, where was this, Ebor? No, we were in Tampa. Over by like the river walk, so in between like Ebor and the river walk, there's like a little cemetery, there's like all the old abandoned buildings. So like there was a hotel too, even where um, JFK stayed at before he went to Texas and was assassinated, that a guy, I think jumped off the roof or committed suicide or something. I think it was a lot of people. Yeah, like, I don't know. I didn't know, there, there's a lot of like crazy stories here in Tampa. Tampa just has a lot of a lot of history as well as Ybor. I think is Tampa the most haunted city? No, so I think in Florida um, I think St. Augustine is the I know we're right by a, a cemetery too guys. You can show. Oh wow. <laughs> Perfect timing. Wow. Yeah, so uh, right by a cemetery. Hmm. Perfect. Why does it say we're at a stoplight? Am I crazy? Uh. <laughs> what? Guys, my phone is like literally on crack. Like it says we're at a stoplight. We are. There was Maybe no there was stoplight. a stoplight right here <laughs> back then. Maybe. I don't know. But it, I mean, it's in there. Um. Yeah. Oh. So we're here, guys. We're right by rooms to go. Let's go. Um. Oh wow, that does look very small. We're right by a place to go vape. Ha! Huh. Don't vape, kids. Don't vape. Don't. We're gonna park way over here. So it's gross. Huh. Okay, well, we are here, guys. I'm gonna turn off the camera because we have to first ask permission um, if we can video, but guys, hint of advice. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is permission, so I'm actually not gonna ask. I'm just gonna start. If they tell me to stop, then I'll stop. So we'll see you inside. What's up, what's up everyone? We just got done with the, the escape room. Yup, and we did the Horber Circus. They give you an hour to get through the whole thing. And guess what? We beat it. We beat it, guys. We totally rocked it. Um, and by totally, I mean, we needed a couple of help, a little bit of help, but overall, man, Maddie killed it. She was a good sport. Uh, definitely don't recommend for little kids. No. <laughs> definitely don't recommend for I little kids. I was scared. She was scared. And I mean, I would have died to see Paul's reactions in it because, <laughs> y'all, he can't handle scary, and that was a blast. So, um, highly recommend um, we, again, this is called Game Over in Tampa. Definitely, definitely, again, recommend. Sorry, I'm looking for my keys because, oh, well, you unlock it. 
She had my keys, guys. Look at that. I'm trying to get into my own car. My kid has my keys and won't even let me in. Um, my eyes are watering. But definitely had a blast. We were able to actually escape with the extra minute or two we, we earned by cleaning up after ourselves. <sighs> I'm not crying. I'm just proud of her. <laughs> it really looks like I'm crying, though, guys. No, it's just, it's really windy. So let me get some air going. <laughs> so, Maddie. Yes? Since I'm crying, can you hold the camera? Um, what was your favorite part? Okay, so I'm not gonna even spoil it. Well, I'm you can't spoil it, but I'm just saying you can tell them what your favorite part was. Um, well, I hurt myself a little bit. Because that was her favorite part. That, no, that hurt really bad because <laughs> they have this one part and it scared me and I, I hurt my wrist. But I'm not gonna tell you why. You gotta find out yourself, so. But I think that was my favorite part, regardless. That was really fun. It was a lot of fun. We got out, guys. Yeah, we, we, so. Yeah, if you clean up after yourself, they grant you an extra minute, which I really liked. Um, which is nice because in other escape rooms, guys, if you ask for a hint, sometimes they kind of dock your minutes. Yeah, but this and one, it takes they don't. Away from they don't dock so your. If you're not time. familiar with escape rooms at all, I definitely recommend you do your your research. And or I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Gro Joey Graceffa's. Um, series. Maddie can tell you what it's called. Escape the Night. It is so well done. He is so creative in the way he does it, but the whole series is like one big escape room. So, again, if you haven't done escape rooms before and you're not like one of those creative thinkers outside of the box kind of a people This person, is definitely not your thing. If yeah. you're not creative and if you can't think outside the box, I will definitely not recommend that for you because you really... You really have to, you have to think a lot. And it's not that it takes a smart person to clear it. You just have to be very creative with it or else you won't be able to get out. <laughs> yeah, so either watch SVU or watch some stuff on escape rooms. But I mean, if you like mystery in itself, this is great. It's so much fun to go out and do with friends. I mean, it's even a great team building thing for people who wanna go out and do stuff with like their work because you have to work together together to get to the end of it so generally escape rooms I think are meant for like what up to groups of 10 yeah especially this one yeah and this one was just me and Maddie so it took a lot of teamwork of going back and forth and this and that and trying to figure everything out uh -huh. with just the two of us and I don't have the greatest memory like at all so we had to keep going back and forth and back and forth to yeah all we the just other kept clues. we just kept running <laughs> so and um, the fact that it was scary um, I know it makes you feel like oh my god you're even, I was on edge the entire time like it it's kind of funny but another thing I would say too guys a big thing is attention to detail oh yeah you have to pay very close attention because like the smallest the smallest things can mean the entire thing because I really want to talk about it but I can't you can talk about it I mean so at the end people who don't live here in Tampa may not ever go to this one so if you plan on doing this one, spoiler alert, this is a spoiler alert, so I'm just gonna say it. So you have to pay very close attention to specific colors and they have this ribbon part and you have to get the colors correct. Cause what we did was that we accidentally did pink instead of orange because they looked very close alike. So we got that mixed up. So clearly I'm colorblind. <laughs> I know, I was like, we're colorblind. And then- I'm Clearly, we don't know our animals. Oh my god, no. We learned them from Nana. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the last part, there's a clock in there. And you have to spell out the clown's name when you get to a specific part. And his name was Midnight. And she didn't believe me that the clock meant something. I didn't think the clock meant something, but Maddie was fucking spot on. But guys. I was like, no, because once he said midnight, I was like, it's the fucking clock. She fucking knew it, dude. She, without Maddie, man. That clock. But without me too, like. 
we make a good team. Yeah, I would definitely do it again. I want to try the the haunted mansion one. Is this where I go? Uh, I more. Mom, you have to keep driving. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. Game room. It's in Brandon, Tampa. I'm pretty sure they have other locations around the world, but. I definitely recommend it. Shout out to the people that, that worked there. You guys were great. Um, Very great. Appreciative. And I like that they didn't dock our points because we got a lot of clues. Well, we didn't get a lot, a lot, but like, you know, sometimes they would just say them out of nowhere. Well, yeah, because otherwise you had to go back to the TV and press this thing on the ice cream little trolley. And I wasn't trying to run around. <laughs> But it is definitely a great experience. I want to do it again. Like, yeah, I think, uh, what was the other one? There was, there's Dracula. Oh, Dracula would be a lot of fun. That one would be fun. There was Dracula. There was like a lamp, Aladdin in the lamp or something. I know, and then the other game room had the Haunted Mansion. There was a Money Heist one. Mm hmm I feel like that one would be fun. The money, money heist? Yeah, the money yeah, heist. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to obviously steal the money. That'd be very fun. I think we should do that one next. You know what um, that reminds me of? Ant-Man and Wasp where he's like talking about time travel. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. Sorry, we couldn't film in there, guys. They make you put every all of your stuff, phones, all your devices in a locker. So, no recording, blah, 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 and I get it, it's totally for, so it's not ruining what they do. Mom, you can't park over here. Yes, I can. No, you can't. This is a walking lane. They're parked here. Yeah, you're not supposed to We're be. We're just going right in and out. Guys, Mom. don't listen to her. Every other car is parked in the same spot. <sighs> She's trying to get me in trouble. Okay, well, that's it. We'll be back. Okay.